The COVID-19 shutdowns and social distancing have given teenagers plenty of unwanted side effects, including an increase in mood disorders. But now a newly published report is adding another factor, increased cannabis use. Ursula Perry shows us how a study of 8th and 10th graders shows a growing number of teens are smoking pot every day, and that may pose serious problems for those with mood disorders. Recent reports have found teen marijuana use is at its highest level in 30 years, with high school students more likely to smoke pot than tobacco. This despite lingering questions about marijuana's health effects. Dr. Cynthia Fontanella works with young people with mood disorders, including major depression and bipolar disorder. We notice, you know, a high prevalence of cannabis use and cannabis use disorders in this population. And we were curious about what the negative effects of that was on their uh, trajectory for mood disorders. In a study published in the journal JAMA Pediatrics, Fontanella detailed findings from a review of 205,000 Ohio Medicaid claims linked with death certificates for young people 10 to 24 years old. The researchers found that kids with mood disorders who used marijuana were at a higher risk for self-harm and death by all causes, including overdose and homicide. The common misconceptions and attitudes is that marijuana is harmless, which it's not. Fontanella says cannabis use might worsen the symptoms of mood disorder and interfere with the treatments too. Marijuana use is now legal in 16 states, including the District of Columbia, but not here in Texas. Only CBD oil is. Now the researchers are hoping for a national study to take a look at the connection between mood disorders and youth and cannabis. They also want to take a look at the role that marijuana laws are having on youth marijuana use. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.